why do we need signals? So the first point I would like to highlight here is the steep learning curve. Since the introduction of Angular in 2016, observables and RxJS have been the major way of managing states and sharing data in an Angular application. Despite observables and RxJS having huge capabilities and a well-crafted design pattern, these technologies have made the learning curve required for understanding Angular a steep one, so much so that it is admitted as a fact on the RxJS website. Another point I would like to highlight is performance, bundle size, and productivity. Before signals came into play, Angular relies heavily on a library called ZoneJS to dictate any changes that occur in an Angular application. What this means in essence is that for every minor change that occurs in an Angular project, the ZoneJS library would need to execute the changes throughout the entire component tree of the project, which brings a negative effect on the overall performance of the Angular application and also makes the bundle size of the application to be bloated. The combination of these two effects would lead to reduced productivity as the bigger an application gets, the more time it requires to compile the application which eventually leads to reduced productivity. With the introduction of signals in Angular, we can now build a complete zoneless application that does not rely on the zone.js library to detect change, which significantly improves the overall performance of an Angular application, as well as reducing the bundle size of an Angular application due to the fact that we can now go completely zoneless. If you want to keep learning about how to build real-world apps with the latest technologies and other career-related topics, then start right now by subscribing to our channel and liking this video.